In the previous video, we have seen what is hash map. So, this is completed. In this video, we will see how to create a map of maps. So, if we see a map, a map is a key value pair. That means, let's say I have created a map and I have added some elements. So, let's say name equals to subbu and role equals to automation. So, this is a map. Let's say I would like to add more names and more roles. For example, I would like to add name equals to Venkat and role equals to test lead. So, in a single map, I cannot add these multiple elements with the same keys. So, in that case, I have to create a map of maps. So, again, map is a key value file. So, for the key value, I can take it something like a ID or like, uh, you know, the numbers like 1, 2, 3, something like this. And the value will be again a map in a map of maps. That means we can write it something like 1 equals to name equals to subbu and role equals to automation. And the second one is 2 equals to name equals to Venkat and role equals to test lead. So, if you see this one, this is one key and this is a value. This is another key and this is another value. So, if you see here, this can be a string or integer, but this is a map. And this is another string or integer and this is a map. So, this is a map of maps. That means I can add similar key value pairs by using map of maps. So, how to define a map of maps? So, just remember this one here. Let's take, let's take this as a string. Okay. That means we will add the string values to the keys here. So, first what we have to do is the way we can define a map of maps is first we will define this map and then this is a string. So, string comma this is a map so we have to say map and the individual elements are again string and string in this one name and so so we have to say string comma string so close this one close the two angular brackets and then give a name to this map of maps so i will say mp mp this is a name equals to new and we will say hash map hash map of string comma map of string comma string and close it in brackets and a semicolon so this is how we can define a map of maps. So, let's see this one more time. So, map of maps. What is map of maps? In the previous videos, we have seen how to define a map. A map is nothing but a key value pair. So, let's say I have taken name equals to Sibbu and role is equal to automation. This is one map. And let's say I want to create another map. So, name is equal to Venkat, role is equal to test lead. So, I have created another map here. But if I want to have it in the in one map, both of these, we cannot have it because we have the same key values here, name and role. So, in those cases, we can have a map of maps. So, what we will do is, we will say 1 is equal to this map. Okay. So, in this case, this 1 becomes the key here and this whole map becomes a map. So, this is a map. So, this is a map. 
Similarly, we will say 2. 2 is the key here and this second list, this second list becomes the value here. So, this is the value. This is again a map here. Again, within these maps, if you see, we have string and string as key value pairs. This is one string and this is another string. This is one string and this is another string. Similarly, in the second map also, we have string, key value pair as string and string and string and string. Okay, so this is how this is. If you see this whole thing, this is a map of maps. So, how can we define a map of maps? First, we will say it as map and then in angular brackets, we say since let's say let's take this as a string. So, string and then we are adding a map here. We are adding a map here. So, we will say map. Again, this is string and string. So, we will say string comma string and we will give, give a name to this one is equal to new hash map of again the same thing string and map of string comma string. So, this is how we can create a map of maps. Let's see an example for this map of maps. I am creating a new class here, new class and the class name is map of maps example and I am using the main method as well and click on finish. So now I will create a map of maps first, I will say map of string comma again another map of string comma string and I will give a name to it mp mp equals to new hash map of string comma map of string comma string and then brackets and then semicolon. Now it is showing some errors. The error is we have to import map. So let's import map. The map is imported and we have to import hash map as well. So hash map is also imported. Now let's add some elements to this map of maps. So what we have to do first is first we have to create some maps and then we have to add those maps to this map of maps. So let's create some maps now. So the first one is map of string comma string. So I will give it a name mp1 equals to new hash map of string comma string. So I have created one map of map object. So I will add some elements to it. So mp1 dot. So I have to use put method. And the key value is name and the value is subbu and then I will add another one. So, so this is mp1 dot. Now the key value is roll and the value is automation. So I have added, I have created one map. Now let's add this map to this map of maps. So what I have to do is, so again I will use this map of maps object I have created. So I will say mp mp dot put and I will, the first element it takes is a string. So I will use one in double quotes. So that is a string and then I will add this map I have created. The second element it takes is a map. The map of maps, the second element it takes is a map. So I will add this map mp1 here. So mp1. So this is how we can create a map of maps. Now let me add, create one more map and add it to the map of maps. So what I will do is I am creating another map which is mp2 and then I am giving the name as Venkat. So, I will say this as mp2 dot because we are adding it to the second one, second map. So, and the role is test lead. And here I will say mp, mp, mp dot put of one. Uh, now, I will take this second key as two. 
and the map is MP2. So now I have added two maps to the map of maps. Now let's print this one. Again we can print the map directly using system.out.println system.out.println MP MP. So let's run this one. Run as Java application and you can see that so one is equal to role is equal to automation and name is equal to subo and the second key the values for the second key is a map which is role is equal to test lead and the name is equal to bank lead. so this is how we can create a map of maps now within this map of maps i would like to access the individual elements so let's say in this map i would like to access this first value that means first map within this map of map so what i can do is i'll say system dot out dot println so here i'll say mp mp dot get so this mp mp is the map of maps so i'll say mp mp dot get off key value is one so we have to pass one but here one is a string so i have to say in double quotes get off one so if I do this one, mpmp.getof1, so one is this one here, and so we'll get a we'll get the first map from the map of maps. Let's run this one. Run as Java application. And you can see that we got the first map. Similarly, I can get the second map as mpmp.getof2. Let's run this one. Run as Java application and you can see that I am getting the second map. Now within this now I would like to get the first element like you know the value for the name key from the first map. So again for this one what we have to do is so until here we are getting the first map. So now we are we have to get the name value name value for this one so dot get of i'll say name so this should result in the value subbu because what i'm doing is until here i am getting the map the whole map i am getting so within this map again i have to get name so i will use get method again and i will pass the key as name so Let's run this one. Run as Java application. And you can see that it is printing Supu. Similarly, I can get others as well. Like instead of name, if I say role. Okay. And for the others also, I can do the same thing. I'll copy this one and I'll say 2. That means the second map. I am getting and then from the second map I am getting the name similarly the second map I am getting and from the second map I am getting role. Let's run this one. Run as Java application and you can see that I am getting all the individual elements. So this is how I can get the individual elements from a map of maps. So this is how we can create a map of maps and we can add elements to the map of maps and we can get the individual elements from a map of maps. In this video, we have seen how to work with map of maps. If you want to download the document for this one, you can go to my repository at github.com slash subbostech and then go to selenium iphone java iphone tutorials and this particular tutorial starts with 23k so search with that and you will find it here selenium iphone collections framework iphone map of maps and you can download this document in the next video we will see about another map which is called concurrent hash map